Hey soul family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot and in today's reading we're doing messages from dear loved ones who passed away. And to do today's reading we will be picking out three cards together. For I see pile number one uh, popping up actually. So one, I see this as two. And I see three. So let's see what we have for pile number one. We have agape. Let me adjust that. For pile number two, we have the thread. And for pile number three, we have the vessel. If you like picking with crystals, give me a second and I'll add these right in. For pile number one, we have the bloodstone. And this is what it looks like. For pile number two, we have the blue how light, and this is how it looks like. And for pile number three, we have the white how light, and this is what it looks like. So take a look at which one of these three piles you're the most drawn to. And that's probably the pile for you here today. If you feel drawn to more than one pile or more than one crystal, always trust your intuition. It's the magic that leads you to the right reading, to the right message that you're supposed to receive. And as usual, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your times and I'll see you in your readings. Hi, pile number one. So you have chosen the beautiful agape as well as the bloodstone. And in this reading, I will be shuffling on camera because I want to be respectful. Uh, as we're shuffling, we're inviting their kind presence in this reading, and I don't want it to be interrupted so that all our energies are connected as we do this very special reading. Okay, so let's ask with intention. Can we kindly get messages from a dear loved one who passed away? For pile number one, please. You have psychic development. Okay. You also have Can we kindly get messages, please? From pile number one's dear loved one who passed away. Okay, you have. Ah, now this is very clear. You have meditator. Okay. And let's take out your tarot cards. And see what they want to say. Can we kindly get messages from pile number one's loved one who passed away, please? Also this one, yeah. So, 
we have oh thank you that's an important one i'll keep it here so we know we have the ten of cups <laughs> all right i think we'll have to push this a little bit we have the six of swords unbelievable okay we have the hanged man mm -hmm. we have the six of cups <laughs> The pictures are unbelievable, how they're depicting the message so clearly. We have the Knight of Cups. I have utmost respect for this reading here. And you have the Emperor. Yeah. That's the card that would want it to come out and we have space we'll remember that this is the cards right under psychic development by the way and i believe we can take one more card thank you very much and you have the eight of wands So pile number one, first and foremost, you being attracted to the uh, agape. Agape is, by the way, uh, a Greek word for unconditional love. There are three forms of love in Greek mythology. There is the agape, which is the unconditional love, like we said. And then there is eros and there is philia. Um, with sexual or erotic love or philia for brotherly love. What we have here today is the agape, utmost form of love, unconditional love. So this is someone who in your lifetime has loved you dearly. In fact, you could be the only one or the dearest person to this person's heart. And with all the, these fires here, they loved a lot of people but you are the most that they've ever loved, my dear pile number one. And that's one of the strongest messages for you here today. You are the one, you are the dearest to this person who will continue to love you even after they're passed on with a six of cups centering right under agape. They will continue to love you and even more from the other world there is a strong connection between the two of you with the Six of Cups and how it's depicted here. Your bond will continue. It's, it will never go. And maybe from another world or another form, both of you feel each other's energies. And this person, do you see with the mirror here, they show you. Do you see how this person or this figure is holding a mirror for this person to see? They show you signs that they are there. And in fact, this is coming in conjunction with the hanged man, showing that this person is saying, I may have passed on to the other side. There may be sadness where we, you feel we're separated, but we're in fact inseparable. The hanged man in specific shows that they're hanging in there. They're not moving on, perhaps. Maybe they're not at the moment focused on anything else, but being your spirit guide but and being there for you, focused on you first before anything else. There's a pause here of some sort, making sure that they take care of you, that they connect with you until both of you one day reunite. And... There, this message is strongly confirmed with the 
I'll get to the meditator message here, which is pretty strong as well. But this person is saying that they're hanging on. They may be on another plane and you cannot see them, but they are there. They never left. Pile number one. This is the strongest message that's being depicted to us from your person here. Now, this horse is very significant because what a coincidence here. We see the Knight of Cups on a horse rocking and the Emperor, again, rocking. And the thing is with rocking horses is that when we ride on them, we play pretend. It's like we think we are all that. We think we're moving forward. We think we're launching towards something, but we're really in our place, not going anywhere. And it shows the energy of the hanged man energy there. The same idea. And I see your dear loved one telling you, it breaks my heart seeing um, you not moving on here. Especially that you have the Eight of Wands, which is about velocity and movement. So you have three card cards discussing movement, which is very important for your person's, in your person's message. They want to say, pile number one, our connection will never go away. We will always be holding on to each other. But I want to see you happy. I want to see you progress in life I'm hearing find you again or something like, uh, like that I want your world to shine and you have all of these lights I will never go away and I'm hearing sweetheart <laughs> I will never go away sweetheart I'm there please uh, move on with your life keep me at heart Keep the connection. And there's a strong talk about how to keep the connection here. I promise I'm going to get to it. But the message is, I want to see you happy. I want to see you progress. It's my happiness. And I, would, I wish that you would actually move on from this energy. Connect with me from the heart. But you see, even with the Ten of Cups, find ultimate happiness in your life. I want to see you happy. And part of the happiness here, the beginning of it, is moving from this pain. Obviously, there was strong love between the two of you. Maybe this is a parental connection, but it doesn't have to be. Of course, it could be anything. The agape is connected a lot with fatherly love or even a, a godly love. So this is why I suggested parental love, but again, not necessarily. And so your person, the person you are inquiring about that we've kindly invited in this reading is telling you that they really want to see you happy. They will always be connected to you. They will show you the signs that they're around you. But the most thing that breaks their heart is seeing you stagnant they want you to move in your life and to succeed and to be happy knowing that the connection will never be um, affected by it do you see how with uh, the card of the movement the eight of wands you move while holding on to the light there being spirit guides around you they're there and I will teach you how to connect with them because it's not me teaching you. It's them teaching you here, teaching all of us how you can connect with them in specific. Um, and so you can connect with them all while moving on and being happy. When the, living in the comfort, knowing that they're there every, with every breath that you take, with every move that you make, they are there. Pile number one. Now let's talk about the very important part. 
that I'm seeing this, uh, your person telling you. The bloodstone uh, has hematite within it. All this red parts that you see inside the bloodstone. This is hematite. And hematite is believed to come from iron oxide eruptions that happened in Mars. So my point is, yes, they may be on the other side, which we're seeing with the other planet here. They may be on the other side, but you you can still connect. Maybe you won't be able to see each other, but you can definitely connect. And as you can see here with mediator, I'm getting uh, the message of meditation, especially that you have psychic development here. And so the way to connect with this person, even if uh, every day, if you want, is to take some five minutes Calm down your waves, get into meditation, and tell them everything in your heart. It's within these moments of tranquility, of solitude, of inviting their kind energy, despite that they're always there, but to connect with this energy, where you can wind down and develop a connection with them, this time psych in a psychic manner, which is very strong if not even stronger than the 3d and you'll be surprised and it's coming right under the messages here you will see signs you will know that you're connecting with them they'll make sure you see it and you feel it you just have to try it and they'll be personally connecting with you during especially during meditation where you can touch hands again this time energetically and you can talk to each other you can tell them how you feel during the day. If you wish they were there to hear what you had to say. Or uh, if you wish that you can tell them about whatever unfairness that's happening. Anything that you feel that they would have been there for you. Or you would love to share good news with them. Take a few moments in solitude. When you really want to talk to them, share good news tell them some sadness, go to a room, maybe even lock it or stay on your own, take a few minutes to get into meditation, count to 10 as you uh, go down the stairs, slowly but surely, 1, 2, 3, and so on, until you reach 10, you slow down your energy, you start inviting their kind energy, imagining them right in front of you and speak to them, pile number two. This is their, their invitation right there. Tell them everything that you ever wanted to tell them. Talk to them. Continue the friendship every day where they are in your heart with you. You'll be surprised by how much you connect with them this way. And other than that, other than your connection, and you seeing them encouraging you, hugging you, talking to you. Uh, wake up from your uh, meditation with gratitude that you had these moments. <laughs> Feel happy that they are there, that there's a new way for both of you to connect. That is not that they'll always be there. And please heed the call here, which was, remember it fell, it's very important for your loved one to tell you, please, pile number one, I want to see you moving. I want to see you succeeding, grounded and happy and moving along ha happily in your life. Uh, pile number one, my ultimate wish for you is to see you happy. That's the most important thing to me. Please make it come true. And if it's about our connection, you're the dearest and deepest thing to my heart that ever happened to me. And let's connect every day. <laughs> First, before ending the reading, I would like to thank from my heart your dear loved one for uh, uh, helping us in your reading to communicate to you. 
Thank you for being here. I have all utmost, utmost respect and gratitude. Thank you very much. And pile number one, thank you for this reading. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Don't forget to click on your notification bell. And pile number one, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. We're doing messages from your dear loved one who passed away. And out of respect for your dear loved one, as we're inviting them to this reading to deliver this message to you, I will be shuffling on camera because I do not want to interrupt this energy out of respect for them. So let's first pick up your tarot, your oracle cards and see what messages we have from your dear loved one. Oh, we have two. Okay. You have, oh wow, you have ascension. I'm already seeing your loved one talking about very dark times, very, very rough times. I'm seeing them say that they can see that with you. If you feel like no one knows about how dark this was, they saw everything with you. They're acknowledging that they have seen everything. They're acknowledging they know how dark it was. And it... It's a, they were living it with you. You were never alone, which we'll talk about it in a second. You have sacred space. Okay. Now I'm going to be pulling out another oracle card. Can we kindly get messages? Oh, okay. This is falling. Again, two. All right. This too is uh, coming very strong. Just the two of us. Isn't this sweet? There was a very uh, unique bond to the two of you. Just the two of you. Just the two of you. A very unique bond between the two of you. Okay. You have father. So perhaps this was a father or a parent or a grandparent, a, a caregiver. It doesn't have to be, of course, but it really looks like it for a lot of you watching this reading. <laughs> and you have addict here pushing something all right before we get into the detail of this reading let's take a look at your tarot cards can we kindly get messages from a dear loved one for pile number two please can we kindly get delivered what they want to say to pile number two, please? Can we kindly get, thank you, the exact message they want to say. This is the Queen of Wands. Maybe even the father of your children or a partner Someone who felt like family one way or the other. Maybe someone who knows your family as well. Anyways. Oh, this comes out. Okay. You have the Queen of Pentacles. How interesting. You have the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles right next to each other. 
<laughs> I'm seeing a message that they really think so highly of you, pile number two. They see you as a real queen. What I'm seeing here is that to them, you are the most amazing within everyone else. They think very highly of you. And they are so proud of you. <laughs> Again, you see some motherly or fatherly love depicted here. All right. It's coming to wipe out the shadow aspect. I see. Wonderful. That's giving another message. Okay, you have the knight of pentacles a lot of court cards you have the two of swords you have the hermit mm-hmm <laughs> you have the king of wands you have so many court cards either court cards or major arcana with the two of swords centering your reading and last but not least you have again like I told you either court cards or um, major arcana with the two of swords centering your reading you have the knight of cups <sighs> yeah pile number two I see your loved one telling you that there you've passed by very dark times perhaps no one really knew the magnitude of these times more than you and they're telling you they know just how much it was rough it was like they were experiencing it themselves but they're telling you despite how rough it is despite you sometimes wondering if anyone cares or if anyone can see how horrible this was they're confirming that they were there they saw it they know and they were heartbroken for you with every step that happened with every little thing they, they saw it they saw the unfairness they saw how rough it was and they want to say that they've never left your hand never they've never left your hand they were there making sure that you get out of it and you're either out now pile number two or you're about to come out with miracles and your dear loved one is someone who is adamant about working behind the scenes to make things happen for you. They are pushing so hard. <laughs> Making sure that you live your ultimate dream. What a sweet person. <laughs> they are working behind the scene. Making sure you're stronger. You're happy. You're financially secure. You're confident and beautiful. <laughs> that... You move forward and see things in life only people can people can only imagine as they look up at the stars. Your dear loved one is adamant, adamant about making you live things <laughs> you never imagined you can live. Pile number two. They love you so much. It cannot even be explained. I feel their energy. It's really affecting me down to the core. 
They want to tell you that they love you in a way that cannot be explained. Now, I see a couple of advice here for you, pile number two, from your dear loved one. First, know that you're, you're about to come out of this darkness or perhaps for a lot of you, you can already see the light. And they want you to know that all the nice things that you're seeing happening in your life at the moment, they have been working behind the scene, making sure that they help you out on the other side with this. <laughs> Pile number two. I'm seeing a message with the queens here and the knight of pentacles. I'm seeing a message with the king of wands that they are so proud of you. Like, remember, we noticed there's so many court cards. They have, they, they hold you with so much pride. They cannot believe <laughs> just how strong you are and how much you've persevered and your tenacity to go through this transformation and all this power. They feel like a proud parent of some sort, even if this is a loved one. They are, they hold you with so much pride. In fact, I'm kind of seeing um, some showing off energy in a nice way, in a, that's coming from a good place. Did you see my lover or did you see my child or did you see my grandchild did you see my best friend did you see how what they did and how they went through it did you see anyone who can go through such time and become this wonderful person and to persevere like that this is mine this is my person <laughs> There's so much pride and celebration <laughs> coming from your dear loved one. They are so proud of you. <laughs> and they're worried about you because with the hermit, you do see loneliness in your energy. And I will get to that in a second. But they're here to tell you that they have seen you uh, grow power Grow your confidence, grow your strength. They've seen that. They're very proud of you. And they are there making sure, pep-talking you. Uh, even when you can't hear them, they're pep-talking you. Come on, pile number two, you can do it. Answer back. Do this. Do that. Don't stop. <laughs> and they will always have your back. They will never stop being there for you. They will make sure you live everything. They they have bigger dreams for you, <laughs> pile number two, than you have for yourself. <laughs> and they will keep pushing, trying to make, helping you out from the other side to help push these blessings to you. <laughs> Isn't this sweet? What a sweet, lovely person. Now, I'm seeing as an advice from your person. And that is with the sacred, sacred space. They want you to create a ritual every day where, of course, as you can see with sacred space, to create a certain sacred space that makes you feel home, powerful, and tranquil. Even if you create that physical space with yourself, maybe you want to put candles, maybe you want to create some music that uh, you click on and it starts right away. They want you to create a sacred space full of solitude, a space that they want you to routinely Go to every day. Close your eyes. Wind down. And repeat mantras. Repeat mantras of strength. They are saying here, which is very clear, these mantras will help you ascend. They will make you stronger 
because it's coming right in conjunction with the King of Wands. They will make you move forward with strength and they will help you out with healing your loneliness problem. There's something related to your loneliness problem. Maybe you want to heal your inner child or maybe you want to meet other people but you don't know how to, you have a lot of healing maybe, or maybe you're, you want to develop, st develop strength to deal with other people, whatever it is. What it is is not the issue here because this is a general reading and each one will have their own issue in this area to deal with. But the message is creating a sacred space that feels respected, that you know once you enter into that space, you respect it and to enter it every day. And as you enter it, maybe you want to do certain rit rituals that, that help you understand that you've entered the space. With the fire, I'm saying perhaps you want to uh, light up some candles. Maybe you want to drink something before it or wash your face before it or wear something before it, whatever it is. It does, the details don't matter. But to create it is what matters. And once you create these ideas and routines that you love doing, you do the same thing every day. You repeat it every day. The most important thing about this sacred space is that you will be repeating mantras of power. They want you to repeat mantras that heal you from certain things. Like we said, heal you from inner child wounds, heal you from, th from things that are taking away your power, heal you from moving forward so that you can move forward with force. They're saying that these mantras are so important and that your reading is so empowering. Your loved one just cannot stop helping you. <laughs> it's the most important thing to them. They're so proud of you and they just want you to go up, to continue to go up. They want you to experience all the beautiful things in life. Perhaps they're living it vicariously through you. All their dreams, they're combining their dreams and your dreams <laughs> together with the ones they know that you will enjoy. And they're adamant about bringing justice to you. To, to reward you for, for the hard times that, you will, that happened to you, the unfairness that happened. And they want you to repeat these mantras with every piece of your heart. They are saying that as you repeat, you're pushing. So these mantras have to be empowering ones. As you do the mantras, do not imagine anything that disempowers them. So for example, if your mantra is about, I will manifest my dreams, for example, don't think of ideas during this sacred space and sacred time of how it won't go right. During that time, you allow yourself to fully only see and dream yourself as being strong, as being man a manifester, as someone who has exactly what they want, someone who is who they want to be, someone who acts in the way that they want to be, and someone who's receiving what they want to have. During that sacred space is a free space, a, a space that's transcendental, a space that is outside the 3D, where you are allowed to dream and feel whatever you want. You're not in the 3D anymore. You don't have to worry about other people's responses or other people's reactions or the world's unfairness or anything or what what logical thing can stand in your way because what you're going to see in your future is beyond uh, illogical. <laughs> You'll be receiving so much ascension and growth and blessings you can't even fan them. It's like watching the stars and not knowing what they're all about. Something way up there. You cannot imagine. And that's a promise from your loved one here who's adamant about making it happen for you. And they want you to 
start healing through this sacred space. Perhaps you kept thinking, how do I heal? How do I come out of it? What do I do? Maybe you have a lot of answers that are not coming to you that you just can't figure out. And through this sacred space, through this time where you routinely say your strong affirmations as you visualize them exactly the way you want them every single day, it will make it happen for you. Pile number two. Maybe you want to watch um, little clips that inspire you the day before, movies that inspire you, a quote that inspires you. Maybe you want to create around your sacred space pictures and quotes of movies and inspirational people and the people you're inspired by and put them all around you. And it has to be in secret, a place that no one can see but you, where you enter the space and you become all these people and all these things. You close your eyes, you meditate and you visualize and you repeat your mantras, your strong mantras, pile number two. So pile number two, this is what I see as your message from your dear, beautiful loved one. How blessed have we been <laughs> to have been in touch with such a beautiful soul. Thank you for coming to this reading and helping me deliver this message to your dear loved one. I have so much respect. I appreciate it. I'm in so, so much gratitude. And pile number two, that was your reading. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Don't forget to click on your notification bell. And pile number two, I'll catch you in the next reading. Don't forget they're telling you, I am so proud of you. <laughs> Bye. Hi, pile number three, welcome to your reading. We will be shuffling on screen today out of respect to your loved one. We don't want to interrupt uh, the invitation and we are very grateful that they came in to give you these messages today. So the first thing we're going to be doing is shuffling the first deck. Can we kindly get information, please, from what pile number three's loved one who passed away wants to tell them, please? I see this one and also this one. So you have new day. Oh, let me adjust that, sorry. New day. And, oh, that's why you have the white how light, okay. And you have movement into balance. Mo sorry, apologies, movement into balance. Okay, now let's um, take a card from your next deck. Okay, so this came out. I believe it will be this one. What message do we have? Pioneer. Wow. It says passion for doing and creating what has not been done before. Okay. Let's take a look at your tarot cards. And again, let's shuffle with intention. Can we kindly know what does pile number three's dear loved one here to tell them today, please? One, two, three, four, five, Six and seven. Thank you very much. So you have 
the Ten of Wands. You have, there's a lot of light in your reading, pile number three. You have the Emperor. The Five of Pentacles. <sighs> mm -hmm. You have the Five of Cups. So sweet. <laughs> so beautiful how the bird is hugging this girl in this depiction. You see how she's holding her so close to her chest so comforting and warm so beautiful <laughs> it almost gives a message of i'm going to be there for you even when it's rough you're not alone and you have the five of pentacles with the five of cups fives they symbolize change you have the nine of swords yeah i see you have the queen of cups very interesting depiction And you have the Empress. <sighs> mm. I'm getting uh, a lot of clues on who this person could be. It could be a lover a parent, especially with the vessel. And for some of you in specific, this could be your child with the vessel here because you have the goddess Flora um, touching Hera with foxgloves, with foxgloves flowers, impregnating her, bringing into birth the god Mars. So there is the idea of either parents, mother, or child in this reading, lover as well. But mother as well is coming very strongly. It's not necessarily, of course, this is just clues that I'm seeing. I see here with the five of pentacles, of course, and the nine of swords, centering your reading, the five of cups, that your dear loved one is saying, that I know that my departure hit you hard. And along with it came a lot of stress, a lot of depression, a lot of sadness, and a lot of pain that almost feel like it's impossible to heal. With that as well came a lot of things that scared you with the departure of your dear loved one, pile number three. It seems you were, they were your protector. They were your home. Maybe they handled a lot of things. Or maybe you, you've, you've realized just how much they shielded off of you. And you felt scared. And a hug is coming off very strong. I feel like with this specific Five of Cups that the most thing you wanted was one hug from this person. And I'm really seeing through this message, my dear pile number three, the 
they're extending your, their arms and telling you, I hug you every single day. I never left you. I hug you every single day. I might be in another form, especially that you have the vessel here. You greatly see their strong message of saying, yes, I may be in another form. Maybe not the form you know with the vessel or the body, but I'm here next to you in another form. I've never left your sight. I've always been there. And that hug you wanted, it's there every single day. I hug you every single day. Your dear loved one can feel you energetically. And the fact that the hug and the vessel is coming here, it's really showing me that their message is, whenever you need it, I do it. Rest assured that whenever you need my hug, I hug you. In fact, you see with the Queen of Cups here, the same strong message of, you think I'm not there, but I'm right there in front of you, in another form, from another world, but I am there every single second. I'm right around your vicinity and I've never left your presence. Their message to you is that with the Ten of Wands here, you do show, and the Emperor, you do show a lot of strength to you on the outside. But they know just how much you feel on the inside, how heavy it feels for you on the inside, how much you're letting spirituality lead the way, your hope lead the way. Despite how everything may be going very wrong, perhaps even toxic in the background of your life at the moment, you're letting hope deal lead the way and they know. And they know that you're holding up strong, facing the world with strength, but they know how heavy it is in your heart. They know it all, they feel it with you. Now even more than ever. And with the Empress here, they're really pushing you to explore something, to explore your luck, which we saw here. They want you to work on something because you have the Empress, you have a new day, you have the movement into balance, which is talking about irrigation and making things grow. You have pi the, the pioneer here. And so I see your dear loved one saying, there's a new beginning for you that I see. It's about to happen. In fact, the white how light is all about light. Hope and light. And you can see it here as well. You can see it all over your reading, actually. They're saying there's a new day for you with something very big that you will be pioneering or creating in the near future. They tell you, they're saying, remember what we used to do? Remember what you showed me? Remember what you did? They want you to work on your idea, on your skill, on something very unique to you, or your creativity. They know you have a unique idea. 
They want you to move towards it. Yes, movement, movement. They want you to move towards it. Pile number three. They care so much about you. They want to see you happy. They want to see you succeed. And they will make sure that they are there holding your hand and making this happen for you. With their eyes here, they can see very clearly not just what's coming for you, but now they can see very clearly just how unique you are. Yes. And they can see your passion towards something that's not done before. It's coming very strongly with Pioneer here. Passion for doing and creating what has not been done before. There's something very unique about you. Very creative. And pile number three, they're here telling you to re-explore it again. They want you to step into it and start making it move. Because this will bring a, a new day, a bright day for you that is very transformative. And that will change your life in a dramatic way with the light. You know how when you see a room, let's say there was a dark room that you've seen all your life. And your brain got used to seeing that room in a certain way. And then finally someone fixes the attic light. The light goes up and you go, wow, I didn't know it had all these colors. I didn't know it looked that posh. I didn't know it looked this beautiful. I was stepping in this room all my life and I didn't know it looked this bright and beautiful. The, how chic it was. There will be surprises. Stepping into your creative endeavor or your creative creativity and embarking on a journey to make it move every day on a journey by making it by making movements every day steady movements every day they can see from their place not just that there is light at the end of the tunnel but there is surprises to come and they so much want you to access this they really want you to access this they're hugging you and they're telling you you're not alone. Remember what you do? Go, go to it. Do that dream. You're unique is what they want to say. And they can see far ahead in the future what your uniqueness is going to do. Far ahead is not the right word. Actually, what I want to say is ahead. They can see far ahead from you what could happen see it's the same sun in the same place they can see what can happen and what will be happening to you should you choose to take that path this will create a new life for you and they are here to tell you this important message they want to see you embark on this journey Pile number three, they are here telling you, I miss you so much. If only you could know how much I miss you. Maybe even a thousand folds more than you miss me. And if you want to hug me, you don't know how much I want to hug you. And I'm there for you every day. And my most important Focus 
at the moment is nothing more than to take you out of this energy, the sad, hurtful, painful, scary energy. I'm by your side, closer to you than you can imagine. I will never leave your side. And I'm here today to tell you, to remind you of who you are and to tap into that and to take the first step towards that path that I'm showing you here to get your new beginning, to get something great and amazing that you cannot fathom at the moment, but will turn out to be more than a dream come true. Pile number three. I love you and I'm here protecting you the same way I always have. You're not alone. What you feel may not be there when I left is there. I'm here protecting you the same way, looking out for you, hugging you. Everything is the same, just in another form. I've always known how unique you are. I've always known how creative you are. And I want you to re-explore it so that you can shine and you don't un understand at the moment what it can do for you and how much you're going to be shining in the future. If only you knew and if only you can hear my call. I love you, take care of you, until we meet again. Pile number three, that was your reading. I'm in such gratitude that your dear loved one chose, and I'm sure what, what I'm hearing is I would choose every single time <laughs> to come and deliver this message for your reading. Thank you very much. And pile number three, that was your reading. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Don't forget to click on your notification bell. And I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye.